Good morning, third grade students, or good afternoon, because you're really watching this in the afternoon. Um, instead of showing you in person how to do Tuesday's high frequency, frequency word activity, I'm going to be showing you here on my YouTube channel on how to do our activity for today. So get ready, make sure you're listening. And the beautiful thing about making this um, a video is that if you're confused, you can go back and you can pause rewatch it, rewind it, however, whatever pace you need to go, you can totally do that, okay? And so, are we ready? Show me thumbs up, you're ready, you're ready. Okay, perfect, I'm gonna share my screen. And you're going to get to see uh, Maestro Maldonado's screen right now. So, in order for you to access this, because you did this yesterday on Google Classroom, there's this really cool way to get there. Um, again, I have a teacher account, so sometimes it gets a little confusing and all of that, right? It's a little, there's a lot more on ours than your student account. But if you go to Google and you look at these little, I call it like a little window, it's your apps, your Google apps, you should be able to find, um, you could get to your classroom and find it that way. Or you can also just go to your drive and so if you go to your drive, you should be able to see it. And it's going to be called high frequency words, or it might be called something else in your class if your maestra retitled it. So she will, she can let you know. But mine is called um, VIP time, high frequency words. But it's going to pop up for you. You don't even have to type it. It should be in your drive easily. So you just double click it. And it opens up. And it's always going to open up to the first page. If for some reason it doesn't let you edit, you might have mistakenly submitted yesterday. We don't want you to submit. So if that happened, you can raise your hand and go ask your teacher to support you to make sure that we can have you unsubmit so that it's working. So we have our high frequency words this week. We know we have the words of, we have the, we have great, we have learn, we have about. And yesterday we talked about um, a different activity for each day and we worked on staircase words. It's Tuesday, so we're gonna get very colorful right now and we're gonna do some rainbow words. Wednesday, we'll do some fancy fonts and then Thursday, some silly sentences. So let's take a look at our Monday's activity. Those are the ones I did with my class. And then now we're ready for Tuesday's activity. All right, um, we're gonna get started. So what do you do? Rainbow words, you look at the word, you read it, the, you can read it a few times in your head, like the, 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 it's the. And now you're going to click inside of this box. When it's clicked like that and it's kind of highlighted blue, that means you can type inside of that box. And so what are you gonna do? You're going to type that word, changing um, the color of your word or the color of every single letter if you want, okay? So let me show you. I'm gonna start by typing the word the. So you can do that with me. You can pause at any time. And I'm going to show you two things. A really cool thing you can do is that you can highlight it. So by doing that, you have to click down on your uh, touchpad and highlight it like that. Shortcut would be if you type um, or if you click on your keyboard, Control A. I'm going to show you how to do that on the, just showing you a picture of the keyboard so you know what that looks like. So keyboard control A, let's see if it'll pop up. Okay, and every keyboard's slightly different, but it's typically somewhere over here. So this is a picture of a keyboard. For you to select all, if you wanna highlight something really quickly, you hold down control CTRL, and at the same time you press the letter A, and then it highlights for you. That's one shortcut that is super, super important. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go back to this. I wanna press Control A. Let me do that again. I think I have that open. Okay, so I've got Control A and now this is where you can change your font. Sometimes it's already on one called Arial. A-R-I-A-L, that's the one that's the most common. But if you click this drop-down menu, you can change it to different fonts. 
So I love this part because it's the fun part. So you can choose whatever font you want as long as it's um, easy to understand. So I like this one. And then another cool thing that I can show you is that you can center it. So there's so many little options up here. Do you see this one? When I hover over it, my move my cursor over it, it says a line. So that means how I want my words to look. If I want them all the way to the left, in the middle, if I want them to the right, right? So I want them centered. I think it looks nicer if it's centered. And then I have this, all of this highlighted, but I just really wanna highlight one letter at a time because I'm gonna change the colors. Maybe I'll do purple and you can um, highlight it like that. That's the highlighter. I'll show you two ways that you can do it and you can do either way. You don't have to do the, you can choose which way you wanna do it. So this is highlighting and then I'll show you how to actually change the, the color of your font. So there's one word, the. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the word of, okay? So I have the word of, I'm gonna type it again. And I have to do all of that stuff again. I'm gonna um, highlight it. I'm going to center it. It doesn't have to, really does not have to be capitalized. It's fine if it is. Um, I'm going to highlight it. Um, I'm gonna highlight by word. Actually, I wanna make this a little bit bigger. So if I wanna make the font bigger, I can add the plus sign over here. Okay, and then instead of highlighting, that was my highlight feature. This is highlight color. This little A with the little black underneath, that's your color. So if I want to change my O to a different color, I can do that. Like let's say I wanna make that one purple and I wanna make this one green. So I choose it. And now I have two different options. You can highlight like that, or you can change the, the letter color if you want. Um, again, you can highlight to make it bigger. If, now let me do some troubleshooting, some mistakes that you might make. If this moves, it is so easy to just move back. You just click on it, you hold it down with your cursor or your, your finger on the touchpad. You hold it down and you just move it back to where it was before. If like, let's say I clicked on it and by mistake I pressed delete and you're like, oh my gosh, what happened to my word? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't stress. All you have to do is press this undo button. This little cute little arrow over here, that's your best friend. You just click undo. There's no reason for if you delete something by mistake, don't go to your maestra because I'm showing you how to get it back. Yeah? If like, let's say for some weird odd reason you did undo and it still doesn't appear. Oh, it completely deleted. I'm gonna delete mine accidentally and I'm gonna pretend I can't get it back. If that ever happens and you're like, how do I type? It's not letting me type. This T over here is called a text box. If you click it, this little plus sign comes out. If you hold it down, you can actually draw a rectangle so that you can draw or write your word or type your word. So I'll do that again. And then the same thing, the same process of what I just showed you can make your uh, make your font bigger. You can choose your font. I'm gonna center it one more time. I'm gonna change the color of my letter. Let's make it orange this time. Ooh. Let's do. Oh, and if you don't want the highlight, you just click on this. You highlight the word and you click transparent. So I wanted to highlight off, and now I'm going back to my. Ooh, and if that happens where that disappears, you just gotta click on the word again. So now I click on my little A with the color at the bottom and then I'm choosing orange and let me just choose another color. Let's do that color. So now I have my words. So you would do the same for each box today, make it look super, super cute. And I hope this video was helpful. Adios friends, goodbye friends, see you later.